Right, testing, testing, one, two, three. Okay, we are going into part three of uh, chapter 11, market intervention. Now, on this, uh, in this video, we are going to focus on quota, so-called um, so quantity control, okay? Now, in last two videos, we talk about price control, uh, setting high or setting low. Now, this time, we are going to talk about quota, which sets a uh, so-called maximum quantity. 今次我們是揸著個Q來做事,之前揸著個P嘛,係咪?Now, to be effective, now, it should be set lower than equilibrium quantity. Now,咩嚟嘅呢? Quota. Think about in Hong Kong, uh, the taxi, okay? The taxi license, okay? Now, they don't want you to have too, too many license, 係咪?佢唔想你太多啊? So, they will set the number. Now, how much you are willing to pay is irrelevant. 你就算肯給多少錢我,我都不會買的。我講明,now, I state very clearly, 200 license, for example, then no matter how much you pay me, I'm only going to give you 200. 或者你給我的錢都好,我只是200個牌子。Okay, this is quota. So, you may be asking, how come we want to do that? Okay, now, obviously, we are to limit the so-called quantity now for several reasons okay now maybe now most of the time to so-called increase competitiveness okay now can we go on the make an increase competitiveness huh? now think about it when the license are limited now as a government do you think you would give to the uh, more skilled driver or the uh, lower skilled driver of course you're going to, going to give the limited license to the higher quality one right? so in this sense it's going to increase our competitiveness or so-called increase the quality right? Okay, so this is the objective. Now, obviously, this time we are going to start with the quantity. Uh, effective, or the Now, in the old Chinese saying, the rarer they are, the higher the price. Therefore, now remember, P times Q, increase, decrease, we actually do not know or they case I see it also depends on elasticity of demand okay so the now these guys are very standard now the side effect now this time only one side effect okay quality average quality okay I should add average quality would increase for the same reason right price increases in order to attract the customer to buy, you need to have better quality. Okay, now this time the very uh, funny issue, okay, would be the graph. Come see a graphical representation will have dealer. Okay, it's quite special. Now, good practice. Always start with the original situation, no matter what. What you sing or say, Molam. This is P1, this is Q1, P1, Q1, now what happens to quota is that, now let us set a quota here, this is our Q max, maximum, okay, the quota, we set a Q max, now think about it, these areas are acceptable, but these areas are all not acceptable, because you can't have quantity, more than the QM, right? So, let's break it down. Okay, let's break it down. You can't draw any supply here. Like a supplier, okay, so this part still okay. This part not okay. We will have a new supply curve. Now follow me, follow me, okay? Red pen. The new supply curve will be this one, still okay. But once they pass this region, they can no longer exist. Instead, they stay at QM. Okay, this will be our S2. We call this a kinked supply curve. Okay, now want to kink it little gamma. Now want to supply a kinked supply curve. Okay, now so 
Let's look at the new quantity. Obviously, if it is effective, we will stay at QM. Okay, Q1 drop to QM. Now the price, we find the place where the new supply intersect demand. Then price would go up. This would be the point that we want. Okay, now remember this time, this is a new equilibrium. equilibrium okay unlike in previous cases in price control we will have shortage surplus that would not be equilibrium but this case it will be equilibrium shortage surplus that would not be equilibrium okay that is the graph now take some time to digest about now very important make sure you know how to draw quota okay make sure you know before you move on all right now assuming you know what's going on let us also look at how to deal with these kind of questions with table form okay now again not going to waste your time in part a three dollars six units good practice mark down the original here this is the original and that now suppose the government sets a quota of four units now quota is easier in the sense that we actually do not need to follow the two steps. Because effective or not, using one track, you already know. Now, think about it. Four units. A quota of four units means that cannot be more than four units. Right? QS. Okay? QS cannot be more than four units. So, we look at QS. Two units, okay. Four units, okay. Six, eight, and ten, not okay because they are higher than four, right? So what happens? At most, they can only make four. Right? This would be our new supply curve. Therefore, the new point you already see, four, four, four. Actually, would be four dollars, four units. Very easy, only cross out those QS that are higher than the quota. You immediately will find a new equilibrium. Okay? Now, what happens if it is at this time is ineffective? What happens if it is ineffective? We can check using uh, questions on our next page. Okay? So, now how many No need to even check, no need to even check that border with that step. Okay? Here, let's see. Now, here, let's see. Now, the abolition, nah, remember this one, cancel. Okay? Cancel. Without a quota, abolition. Now, you don't have a quota, you do no quota, price drop, Q increases. Remember, right? And quality decreases. This is what we get from the previous table, right? So, for in price, increase in import volume. Yes, increase. Increase in total sales revenue. Uh, P did Q sing. Now, how do I know, right? How do I know? Not really, right? One, two. Let's see. One, uh, actually. We only have one answer. Well, improvement in quality, we just talked about. No, lower the price. Average quality should decrease. Okay, then that, yet ye. Now, this one, but you see that it is not size again. Okay, now, next one. Okay, US government cancel quota, which means US, am I? US government, US government cancel quota from Hong Kong. Then, the US import price of Hong Kong, no quota, no quota, price decrease, Q increase, okay, price will decrease. US spending on Hong Kong, uh, on Hong Kong textile, now how do I know? P decrease, Q increases, now how do I know, right? So, increase, unknown, uh, decrease, unknown. Right? Right? Now here, a little bit blurry. This one two, one, two, three. This one is one, two, 
free， 係咪有少少 blur 啦。Alright， now in country A， originally there is a S1， OK S1， 誒、uh, of Q1， Q1 as a quota。Now the quota increases to Q3, right? So let's mark it down. Original equilibrium. Original. Look at S1 and demand. Okay, this is S1 and demand. Original intersection would be P1 times Q1, right? Now look at、uh, S2. Let let me use red. S2. The intersection. This is S two. This is demand. You see, the intersection is actually right here, not three but two. P two times Q two. Okay. So total sales revenue. Don't be fake by it. Okay. This one is actually ineffective. Fake 嚟噶，系咪啊 ？P two Q two. 坤嚟噶，唔系 P three Q three 啊。Okay, Quan Lei. All right. So this one, rather easy. Okay, we are going into the harder ones. Okay, harder ones. Now abolish, ala abolish. Remember, abolish meaning price decrease, Q increases. Okay, as a result, something would increase, not not price, and sales volume. Of course, 冇講冇話呢，係咪啊 ？Income. Of the workers in the car manufacturing industry. Now think about it. 其实呢个你知唔知啊？其实你知噶。Manufacture. Now this is local manufacture. This is import. 呢个入口外国嘅。Now this is foreign. Okay. Foreign product and local product. What is their relationship? We call them substitute. Okay. Now with more foreign, of course, local demand will decrease. 好啦 ，when local demand for the good decreases, what happens to the local demand for worker? 咁 worker 會點啊 ？Decrease 啊個 demand. Then both wage and Quantity would decrease, so income would actually decrease. 一定跌噶，唔使問噶。Average and total both decrease. Okay, revenue P P 跌 Q 升，唔知係咪 ？Therefore, we actually do not know because this way, 見唔見啊 ？How do I know? Okay, now C is more interesting. Now next question. Abolish import quota on live chicken, 係咪啊？好啦，所以啦 ，what happens here? Price of live chicken would decrease. Quantity of live chicken would increase. 係咪啊 ？Price would increase. 錯啦 ，not correct. Total sales revenue may increase. May increase, of course. P D Q C, right? Under what situation? We need this guy to increase, but price decreases. Under what situation will it increase? When Q is increasing faster, we call this elastic demand. 係咪啊？當 elastic demand 嘅時候咪會升咯。So yes, this one is correct. Now what about chilled chicken? Now think about it again. Chilled chicken and live chicken, they belong to substitute, right? I'm a substitute. Here, life increases, meaning chill will decrease. Therefore, sales volume must decrease. Okay, and the total expenditure also must decrease, may not increase. I'm a P D Q D must decrease. Therefore, both of them are wrong. Okay, now remember, if you if you struggle with substitute, I suggest you should go back to chapter eight and chapter nine to check. The definitions of substitute and the operation of substitutes. Okay, now now, oh now next one. Here, original situation. Mark that here, Jin. Original, eighty, one hundred and twenty units. Okay. 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 Okay
they fixed the quota at 80 units, meaning all QS above 80 would die and should become 80, right? So, 60, 60, 80, 80, this one, 80, 80, 80, no choice, right? Therefore, the new equilibrium already see should be 180 units, right? The total expenditure would be this guy, right? This guy. Now you see, have a quota idea. No need to check effective or ineffective. Just cross out all and find a new equilibrium, right? Sometimes it may stay here. Now, what's the situation? Next question, we will have this is situation. Okay, now, take it Now, government lowers the quota 700 to uh, 550, okay, 550. Now, 700, let's use a blue pen, okay? Now, take it away. Well, cannot be more than 700. Let's see. This one, okay, 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 okay. Not okay, not okay. Make them 700, okay? Now, in this situation, what is the equilibrium? It's actually here. Can you see? Less than 700. Less than 700. This guy is actually ineffective. But we don't need to border the effective and ineffective. Do we need to be bothered by it? No. We just cross out and we can still find the situation. Okay? We can see it. Okay? So, 700 would be $14. 500, uh, 650 units. Now what about the new situation? Five hundred dollars. What happens? <coughs> so, cross out all the quantity that is higher than uh, quantity supplied that is higher than uh, five hundred and fifty, and namely almost all of them. Okay, five five zero, five five zero, five five zero, five five zero, and five five zero. So you will see the new situation should be this guy. Eighteen dollars, five five zero units. All right. Now you see, market price should be raised by four dollars. Am I? Should be升四蚊先啱喎，係咪？升四蚊喎。Okay, will be raised by four dollars. You see. We do not need to check whether it's effective or ineffective. Just cross out all the things that are above the quota level. Then you automatically can find a new situation. Not exactly too difficult. All right. Now we move on to one final question for this video, which is a rather difficult question. Okay, rather difficult questions. Now think about it. Now the situation is like this, EU. Okay. Now, in order to answer to the protest, I mean, they, uh, now, uh, the youth, ah, so, ah, you answer, ah, you to respond to their demand. So, what happens is that EU first, now, let's call this number one. Okay, abolish the effective quota on production of dairy products. Ah, ah, now, he will, ah, the dairy product, ah, ah, we use the second one, okay? Let's use a red, okay? Abolish, remember, with abolishment, meaning price would decrease, Q would increase, okay? This is number one. Now, number two, Russia imposes, impose embargo on import of dairy product. Now, this means, yeah, now remember, EU, originally, let's say, let's say EU, they can export to China, uh, to uh, Hong Kong, and to uh, uh, Russia, uh, okay? Free customer, right? So, they have three demands, three different demands for their product. Now, Russia say, no, I don't do business with you. So what happens? Actually, it means demand for EU product would decrease leading to decrease in price and decrease in quantity now the question is asking what happens to the price we already know the answer it must decrease right now funnily enough this questions didn't ask you to explain using words but only using one diagram 
Okay, so let me draw the original situation. 记住啦 ，originally there was 哎哎啊、哦，画太大添 ，so sorry 啊。Originally there was a quota. Okay, there was a quota. Therefore, the situation should be like this: D one, S one. This is the original situation, original price, P one. Let's mark it here. Okay. Now, what happens? Remember, red number one. We use red. First, it abolish. You got that? Abolishing the quota means that supply curve. Becomes normal again. Okay, now this one. This is our number one. Now for number two, we also know that demand should decrease because one less customer. Okay, 好啦，所以啦 second green, we decrease the demand. Okay, 係咪啊？我哋跌翻個 demand 啊 ，to D two. Okay, now the new situation will be D two S two. This would be our price. Now, do you see? The price would actually drop by a whole lot. This is the way we draw the diagram to explain how the price would decrease. Okay, 得唔得啊？嗱，呢條有少少難嘅 ，because it involves two different parts. Okay, two different parts. But remember, always think about the logic first. Get the answer, and then transform the answer in into the graph. Okay, now hopefully that would not be too difficult, and that would that would conclude our first part. Okay, the first half of this chapter, because for next video we are going into the very difficult, very clumsy measure of per unit tax. Okay, so let us meet again in our next video. Until then, I see you next time.